talk about Inox uh, win. Now, they've actually uh, backed a repeat order that has come in for around 279 megawatt turbine. Uh, but what does this mean for the company? To understand more in terms of where does their order book stand, what should we be expecting going forward? We're joined by Devansh Chayanidi at Inox uh, GFL Group uh, joining in with us. Devansh, uh, thank you so much for joining in with us this afternoon on ET Now. And uh, clearly cheer coming in for you, Christmas cheer as well, given that this repeat order has come in for the company 279 megawatt and what does this you know actually start by telling us what does this new order uh, where does it take your total order book to now where do you see the margins also what sort of margins do you derive from this so you know what could we expecting in terms of margins then as well here hi good afternoon it's a pleasure to be back uh, so we announced a 280 megawatt order today uh, importantly it consists of 180 megawatts of equipment supply and very limited scope services and 99 megawatts of turnkey. So what that signals also is our order book is spreading now between turnkey orders and equipment supply. It's also one of the largest CNI orders in the Indian market to date. Uh, probably one of the largest order. I think the largest order we've ever received uh, at, any, at, at a single point in time. Uh, this is an order which we'll be executing between Gujarat and Rajasthan. I think it should commence in Q1 FY25 and go on till uh, Q1 FY26. Importantly, this gives us a very, very significant revenue visibility into FY25. And I hopefully, I think this is just the start of a lot of order announcements we should be making over the next couple of days and months. Uh, we intend and hope that by March 24, we should be covering a big chunk of FY26 as well for us. In terms of uh, revenue, as you asked, uh, this would entail a, a supply value north of 2,200 crores. This excludes the services piece. The services piece uh, would be a couple of hundred crores over the lifetime of the contract. So I think that's where we are. I think in terms of uh, margins, what we've guided for historically that with our three megawatt product and our OM services, we should get back to about 15% uh, EBITDA margins. And I think... Uh, this order should be in terms of in terms in, in terms of uh, margins. I think we should be uh, able to achieve that as we move forward with these orders. Uh, well, hi Devansh, uh, Somit also joining into the conversation now. As we understand that wind is a very cyclical industry with respect to uh, capacity addition. Which stage of the cycle are we currently right uh, currently at this moment, and what is the kind of order info that you are seeing for the next one to two years? Uh, I think, uh, you know, it was a cyclical industry uh, till 2017 when the sector was driven uh, primarily by feed-in tariff. I think we, where we are today after six years of pain in the sector, I think the whole sector has come back massively and it's no longer a cyclical industry. I think it's a, I think the next decade or so should see phenomenal growth for the wind sector. Uh, I think we should be seeing uniform execution quarter on quarter. Yes, Q2 uh, typically gets hit by monsoon. Other than that, every quarter should be fairly uniform. And uh, within which, I think uh, the government obviously has announced a clear 10 gigawatt plan every year. And I think the government is walking the talk in terms of uh, auctions being carried out by central agencies, as well as the CNI market, the PSU market, IPPs themselves. I think the demand is phenomenal. So I, I, I wouldn't call this a cyclical uh, sector anymore. Uh, from our perspective, as I said, I think it's going to be fairly uniform. We've just started, uh, we, you know, uh, order announcements. I think we did mention we should see a significant amount of order inflows as we move forward. We've used the past couple of months to strengthen the balance sheet, clean up the balance sheet, raise a lot of capital, uh, get the supply chain in place, get all our certifications in place for our 3.3 uh, megawatt turbine. Uh, and I think where we are today, I think you are, you know, we're just at the cusp of uh, a massive ramp up in execution. Right. Uh, you know, Devansh, uh, let's just talk about uh, in terms of cash. You've turned cash positive in Q2. Uh, could you talk to us about at uh, the bottom line and net profit uh, level? What is it expected when you turn, uh, you know, profitable on that front over there? Uh, what are the assumptions or what should we expect in terms of profit assumptions for FY25 as well as FY26 from the company? Where do you see it improving now? Look, you know, I think... Uh, in terms of uh, what's in the public domain, which I've said multiple times, I think every quarter 
this financial year should be better than the previous quarter. So Q1 was a bit of positive, Q2 was cash positive. Naturally, Q3 and Q4 should be coming up in the near future. But I think we should be better every quarter. I think what we've also stated was uh, over the course of this financial year, we will turn net profit, uh, turn overall uh, in the green. And I think we are well on track for that. Uh, I think there are various analyst estimates out there uh, from ISEC, Systematics, a couple of other analyst reports in the public domain. Uh, but what's important is I think FI25 should be a big turnaround here in terms of profitability. I think we would we should be going from about the past four or five years, we've typically been, typically been doing about 700 crores of top line, 100 odd megawatts. And I think FI25 should be north of 4,000 crores, very, very significant profitability. Obviously, FI26 should be way larger than that. Uh, I mean, that's all that I can say at this point in time. I mean, being a listed company, we can't give more guidance. But yes, we should get back to about 15% EBIT margins in the consolidated entity from FI25 onwards. Shuna, thank you so much for joining in with us and uh, giving us some bit of a color in terms of what we should be expecting from the company going forward as well. Thank you so much. Uh, that was the management uh, of Inox and uh, joining in with us. Uh